Hi everyone, Frankie M here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a titanium fireworks fountain. Titanium is element number 22, it's a transition metal. When you hold pure titanium metal against a grinding wheel, um, you'll see that it emits uh, bright white sparks. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a gunpowder reaction to push burning bits of titanium out of the top of the tube to make sparks. So let's get to the reaction. Alright, so here is the chemical reaction that occurs in gunpowder. Potassium nitrate reacts with carbon, otherwise known as charcoal powder, to make carbon dioxide, potassium carbonate, and nitrogen. Sulfur is added to the mixture to um, stabilize um, and to basically stabilize the combustion and um, create a bit more heat and gas pressure. Sulfur then reacts with uh, potassium nitrate to produce sulfur dioxide. So, the ratio in gunpowder is 12.4% carbon, 73.6% potassium nitrate, and 15% sulfur. In this case, I'm adding in an extra 5% sulfur to, um, to help heat and ignite the titanium as well as produce pressure. Now, the titanium added to this gunpowder mixture will be will be ignited by the heat and pressure as well as with the reaction with the potassium nitrate and the sulfur. So let's prepare the mixture. So here are the ingredients. Titanium powder. Carbon, otherwise known as charcoal powder. Sulfur. and potassium nitrate, otherwise known as saltpeter. And for the container, I am using a pyrotechnics tube with wooden dowels um, used to plug the ends. I've already hot glued the end plug in here. This will be the nozzle piece after I funnel in the mixture. And lastly, you're going to need a pyrotechnics fuse to, um, to put into the nozzle. So I've got the ingredients combined in this uh, plastic cup, the ingredients for gunpowder, and I've got the titanium powder here. So all you have to do is add the titanium powder to the gunpowder ingredients and mix thoroughly with a spoon. This mixture is neither shock nor friction sensitive, so you don't have to worry about accidentally igniting it. So the ratio I've added um, the titanium is one gram of titanium per gram of gunpowder works best. Alright, so now that I've got my ingredients mixed well, I'm going to use a funnel to add them to my container. All right, looks good. Next, I'm going to add a nozzle piece and pound that in with a hammer. So now that I've got the nozzle secured in place, all that's left to do is add a fuse. So let's push the fuse down into the mixture and the fountain is ready. Let's go test it out. All right, let me go set up the fountain. All right, turn off the light. And let me get my torch to light it. All right, light the fuse and enjoy.
It was pretty cool, wasn't it? That has got to be the my favorite fountain firework I've made so far. This titanium burns so brightly and also reacts violently with, violently with the sulfur and potassium nitrate in the gunpowder to give the fountain a bit more power. So this is pretty simple and easy to do at home, as long as you don't do anything stupid with it. Um, it should be pretty safe. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the, in the next video.